Hello again and welcome to the Comedians <laughs> Dreams Kilto Festival here in Varna. Uh, now we will enjoy the performance of the the performances of the seven countries participating in the project and this is Bulgaria, Italy, Lithuania, Poland, Hungary, Germany and Turkey. Uh, we wish you the best of luck tonight. We will start off with the Bulgarian play, but before that we will hear Trifon, who will tell us more about the Bulgarian play. <laughs> Dear friends and guests, our play is about a group of, of normal students from our time who participate in an exchange program in which they are sent forward in time. There, they get the chance to uh, interact with students from the future, to see their everyday lives, and to, uh, well, they even take part in some of their classes. And of course, as you might expect from these young teenagers, they gradually develop feelings for each other. Well, enjoy. Yes. Uh, well, good night, kids. I, I, I expect 
to see you tomorrow at the official. At the official meeting, none of our guests. We expect you to be there at night. Yes. <laughs> Me? No. 
Nothing. Do you know that because of my broken chip, I will get everything of you? I can't forget you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. See how humid it used to help? Isn't it just amazing? Gorgeous. I love him so much. Again, <laughs> <laughs> you and your fantasies. What are you talking about? You were writing this nonsense since we left. It's nonsense, not nonsense. Whatever. Hey, dude. What are you doing? You haven't stopped since so you are here. Um, I'm writing. About our robot girl, I suppose. How on earth do you know that? My parents paid so much for that chip in my head. It has to do something after all. What is it? Let me see. Give it back. Give it back. Okay, you're in love with the robot girl. Ladies and gentlemen, our writer is in love with the robot girl. What? Uh, Mrs. Juliana, may I present to you your Roman? It's Juliet. Romeo and Juliet. It doesn't matter. You're always like that. You cannot find girlfriend just because you're always reading. Can I read a little? I told you. I told you that robot girl is very rude, but you didn't believe me. I don't care. I'm not giving up. Just do what you want. Come, kids. Don't change. We'll have a tour around the town. <laughs> the kids are ready. Oh. Very well. Now, we are going to visit some very interesting places that I trust you will find amazing indeed. Well, I hope we all have a really good time. Well, here we are in the ancient part of the city. Some of the things are so old that you may not even remember them. <laughs> Alex! You? Again? I'm sick. Whatever we go, whatever happens, I'm sure it's America. Actually, it, 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 it wasn't him. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> you have to speak properly. Excuse me, but, but I, I, I think it's too rude of you. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, but I think Angela was gone. Oh no, she may have got lost. It's, it's too dangerous here for people who are not aware of the innovations. She, she may crash into an invisible car, or, or, and, and then it will be over. It, it, if we don't find her, it, it, it will be over. Hey, you with the gadget on the brain. Me? Yes. Same. Can't you find her with some sort of GPS or something? I'll try. Okay. Go! Very well. Let's continue.
about 2032. Now, and are we going to tell our guests what they have become? Seriously. <laughs> Well, it seems that I don't have a choice now, do I? Well, um, basically, you, uh, Vesco, you become a prime minister. In fact, you make one of the most powerful governments of a country which, of course, I shall not name. As for you two, Angela and Dido, you become famous media personas, sort of like Victoria and David Beckham. As a matter of fact, you lead a charity organization, with the help of our Prime Minister here, of course, which results in the saving of a whole continent. Well, uh, that's basically it. Uh, what about me? This is scary. You're scared. I'm married to the teacher. You're the one that's complaining! Don't get me started! Uh, can we see the book that they bought from the past? What are we talking about? The book? The book? The paper? Yes. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's a real book. I may haven't seen one of those ever since I was a child. They, they have all been recycled to save the forests of the disappearing tundra. Haven't you? Yeah, yes, would you mind yes. reading a bit? Read. 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 Something is happening between the robots, with, between the writer and the girl without chip. Yes, but whatever. He's always like that. Tomorrow he'll like another girl. I don't agree. Only time will show what's going to happen. And so what if there is something? You don't understand. What do you mean by you? You, the people without chips, just like her. You can fall in love. This shouldn't happen. Okay, I don't agree with falling in love either. We are here just for only two days. They will forget each other. It's not a big deal. If they fall in love, you definitely won't be able to get back. What? We need to go to the teacher. Yes, we definitely need to talk to him. because there is something you need to know. One of you is not going back. Have you ever thought that you were not made for this world? Have you ever felt misunderstood? Have you ever just wanted to escape? Well, that feeling was right. 18 years ago, there was an experiment. You were born in 2032, but we switched you with a boy born in 1995 looked just like you. That is why we organized this exchange. See, the day you traveled, we sent him in your time. And he lived with your parents, and he has got your memories. But 
this is the end of the experiment. And now you are going to have to stay here while your friends are going to have to go back. Well, they won't remember anything. J just like you and your double will always know that you're just not from this time. It's time to say goodbye. At least now I know why they didn't have any information about me. Good for you, genius. I've always known that there's something wrong with you, and now you <laughs> switch the bird. I'm a celebrity, and you're just a student. Shut up! You're not so bad, actually. You're just strange, but you know, I wish I could say that I'm going to miss you, but I'm not going to remember you. Actually, I will. So I will miss you guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, you are not going to live and you are going to stay with us? I wish you all the happiness in the world, guys. <laughs>